Jaime Falcon, uh, Isaiah Luigi. Yep. Yep. Looks like yep. It. All right. While this match is playing, I'm going to try and set up some more matches. Just got to see who sent me what. This matchup is tough for Luigi. Just going to ask. I was going to say, I, I, it's got to be one of his worst. It's just so hard to deal with Falcon speed and like yeah. Luigi's so floaty. A lot it can feel so scary to be above Falcon. And any aerial that you do as Luigi just brings you kind of like even right there, you know, like that ledge hop. Right. Down smash, great option there. It's a great recovery though. Great to see Jaime and Isaiah still playing at such a high level. It's kind of surreal, honestly. That's like, just goes to show the beauty of esports, you know? It's not reliant on youth and having like a young body, you know? Like you, you can compete at a high level so much later in your life. So true. It's like the one thing that the Mario boys do have is occasionally you can you throw out that Nair and you can trade with a Falcon up air. And you know, you're still airborne and it's, it's not like... Not ideal, um, but... Yeah, but I mean... Yeah, nice combo. Oh! Yeah. Beautiful job from Jaime. Yeah, it was clever and getting down deep. This looks like it, Isaiah's having trouble with this matchup against Jaime. So I wonder if he, if he doesn't take... Uh, I mean, obviously, like, you can quickly take stocks like that, but I wonder if he'll stick to Luigi. I'm guessing he won't switch off of low tiers. Yeah, I think he had said earlier in the day he was going to stick to the trio of Luigi, Samus, and Luke. Oh, cool. Yeah. I mean, if sure anything, really. who's the best low tier matchup against... Uh, I was going to say, he certainly at least has a ton of matchup experience with, with Link Falcon here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Not sure it's the best matchup here. I can see Sam as being interesting. But it's I a lot of the too, same yeah. struggles Luigi has, too, with just the speed and, and the floatiness. Falcon's I wonder if Ness or DK are better options against Honestly, this Ness, particular high tier. Yeah. Ness would be interesting to see, for sure. We'll do it. Game one. <laughs> there they are, Isaiah and Jaime, frozen in time for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> so he's debating Link Samus. Uh, see if anyone can guess where that picture of Isaiah came from. I'll be impressed. If I could maybe guess. Shouldn't be too tough if you just like... Yeah, it's too small on my screen. But when... It's SmashCon? It's SmashCon. I was going to say, I recognize what, the ceilings. <laughs> but, yeah. But what year and what moment? SmashCon 2016, 2016 Winners quarters with Boom. No. Or Winner Sellers. It was not against Boom. Dark House. <laughs> Has to be the Wizzy set then. Was that your house? <laughs> no. no. Someone just said that. All right. But, uh, Isaiah switched the link. Nice. Oh, here we go. Isaiah's Link versus Falcon, I can't watch and not think of... Uh, 2012. Apex 2012. 2012. Yep. Yeah. Started it off. They played that on uh, my console and TV. Nice. Remember how happy I was about that. <laughs> that set is the reason that SmashCon exists. That running plat drop up there to continue the combo. That set's the reason SmashCon exists. I mean, there's a lot of steps in between, but I mean, <laughs> but yeah, that, for me, that was the, uh, stumbling on that set. Um, that's pretty cool. Initial spark led to everything. Pretty crazy. Yeah, 
Yeah, I remember talking to you when it was just still a, an idea. It's so great that I've seen it come to fruition, because a lot of ideas don't pan out like that. Oh yeah, since this is a top 8 set, it is going to be best of 5. Oh, this one is 5. Yeah. This is winter semis. Oh, uh, I didn't realize this was top 8. Okay. Dang. Yeah, we're going to... I'm just going to play basically like all of West Coast top 8. And say it goes for that like roll read with that short hop there. Finally got back to the stage nicely. Nice F, uh, F air though. Shark. And Jaime opts for just a nair there. He really just wants to push Link off the stage. Usually easy edge guards. Isaiah, they're doing a good job getting back here. Oh. I may gone for broke on that dash attack. Luckily, the boomerang saved Oh, Isaiah, Isaiah missed the down tilt. Oh, and he th pops to throw the boomerang, which I may hit with a back air. The bomb would have had him dead to right. Ooh. These two no strangers to each other. They've played a lot, a lot of Smash together. Since before Flopples was born. <laughs> <laughs> In your patience. Opting, opting to play on the yes, definitely. Is they opting to play a bit on that side flat? Dangerous. Oh, yeah. This is literally the losers finals of Apex 2012. Wonder, uh, wonderful play on high roll at all. to that lead, but not for long. Oh, that was the oh. latest grab. I was actually surprised yeah. he didn't throw it out, and then he threw it out so late. I'm, oh, look oh, at the DI from Isaiah. That was about to be game two. I was calling the victory uh -oh. for Jaime. Uh -oh. I oh was my calling God. it. And that DI changes the outcome of that whole game. And that whole this whole set would have been 2-0. It is now 1-1. That was insane. Classic hey, Isaiah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Isaiah. I know what character you go. You put it in the description. Gotta watch the crack, baby. <laughs> Considering breaking his low tier status. He's got to go Link again, right? I think he was scared to, oh, or not scared, wanted to make sure Jaime wasn't going to. Well, I don't mind. If there's one thing you can predict about Isaiah, it's unpredictability. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Say one thing about Isaiah. Say he's unpredictable. Hey. It's going to be fun to see how he gets in on this. Falcon 
quite literally is just gonna be able to run circles around. Yeah, we're gonna have to see his best Josuke. And Jaime's been playing long enough to know how to abuse little matchup exploits against these low Definitely. tiers. Oh. Chance for a DI. What the bomb? What an escape! It's funny because an up B might have hit Jaime, but uh, Isaiah would have been so vulnerable afterwards if he did a bomb instead. Oh, I don't know if he wanted that bomb on the plat. Good protection. Yeah, and that that forward air from Samus is uh, it's dangerous because a lot of a lot of aerials can trade with it, and it's not going to be a good trade for Samus because you're not going to get much knockback, you know, barely any from an F air. Whereas you you catch a back air in your face during that F air, you're going to get knocked back pretty far. And he just patiently waits for Isaiah to hit that plat. Again. So Jaime up two stocks to one here in game three. all over him yeah. on this last stock. Pretty convincing game here by him. Yeah. This game's I mean, he's like, not gonna let you do that to me with my character. <laughs> Such an interesting switch into the Samus. So, what might happen now, yep, the recording ends, it's a two-parter. <laughs> Did they think it was a best of three at first? Uh, then... Either that or they like got disconnected or, or something like the, that. In the bottom of the text. So, uh, all right. Yeah. So, we got part two coming up. Don't, don't touch that dial. <laughs> How many of you actually ever used a TV with a dial? I bet not many. I have. I have used one. Free for all! You know, don't put anything past the, the 64 crowd. We're old. You know, we play on we play on CRTs. You know this. So hot high up Ultra UHV. I actually don't even know what the is. No link. Nope, he went Luigi. Yeah, and this was a tough game one as well. Mm. At first it seemed like Isaiah was looking to play a bit of that grounded game. Right there, dangerous. You know, you, you land that up air at low percentage and then you're just above Falcon. Gets right up into that back air. Wow, and that's a really nice uh, setup for Jaime. That DI, that ledge DI leads right into that. Well, great F tilt. I'm a continuing to pile on the pressure, really not giving Isaiah yeah, any room to breathe here. And at low percentage, you can really do that as Falcon because, like I said before, he's not he's not really at risk um, with a lot of those uh, oh my. up airs. Jeez. Hold on.
Oh, good jabs from Jaime, but... He is going in. Yeah, he didn't even worry about trading with an up air or anything. Yeah. Right at him. Oh, oh my goodness! goodness. <laughs> Whoa! That was freaking cool. Reckless abandon. Four stop.